Hey guys, Stevie Mac. I am at cool as fuck, and as you'll see in a moment, this place is cool as fuck. Dorina, hello right there. She's getting her makeup done. They're getting picked up at six, and this is why we do VIP. Guys, if you're after any furniture, obviously check out cool as fuck, but tonight's all about 38 reasons. My question is, what's your reason? Um, How are you, legend? Yeah, yeah. Come here, oh, we're uh, here. Kids, I know. All right, this can go in the back of the, maybe the ute or something like this. That should go on here, because that's not going to move. Thanks, mate. You've been a really good hand today, Joshy. Thank you, appreciate that. Oh, mate, you've been great. No, no, we'll stand it up. I think stand nice. it up. But you'd put it on a way so it faces, we're going to flip it. Monkey fit in the back of the car, or is it too big? Probably about too big, it's about five foot. I mean, just in the width? Hey, it's out. Hey, see ya. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, we'll do it. Let's just make it work. I'm on the wrong side. Might as well give me a fucking Corolla. Grab the bottom bit, Steve. I got it. Right, no. Uh, down. There. Uh, put it in the middle of these oh, two. Oh, yeah, no, this, yeah, this oh, part. Is that enough? <laughs> this is in. <laughs> oh, hurrah. Hurrah. All right, guys, just packed up the utes. We are now on our way to the waterfront venue. See you there. On our way to the waterfront right now, nothing us but Stevie Mac style. 38 reasons all the way. Hopefully we'll have a welcoming party, so we'll know in a sec, eh? <laughs> and here we are, back to business. All right, guys, we are midpoint of the preparation of 38 Reasons. I can tell you it's been chaotic. We've changed tables, we're moving people around. Uh, we've got artwork coming in, we've got everything happening. Uh, we've got cars arriving right now, we've got merchandise, we've got media walls. We've got a red carpet, and of course we've got a limo. And this chair here, we're gonna be getting a few photos here later. I'm sure if you see this, you've already been here. Can't wait to see you guys. Also to huge thank you to all our sponsors, my mates, my friends, most importantly my family, and Shawnee Mac, love you bud. On the 28th of the 12th last year, we did a walk for 38 kilometers to honor Sean, who was 38 when he's passed. The 28th of the 12th was actually his birthday, and uh, we had over 30 strangers walk along. We walked from Tarelgan to Hayfield, with three stops along the way with mum on the barbecue uh, and then other stations. We had a whole list of volunteers behind the scenes helping out. But what we did is we come up with a reason that people should be around or a reason they were there. And some of those reasons might be like, I love Sean. Purpose, 38 reasons how it came about. Family, loyalty, family, village, and Sean's biggest attribute, love. So 38 reasons is close to the heart and I had to go through a lot. He had to go through 10 times more to be here. We remember him for being such a laughing, loving, beautiful child that would just make time for anybody. Thank you. Guys, we are here at 38 Reasons. We just had the arrival of some supercars. For whatever reason, people have got behind this cause. We've got Houseland Co, Lux VIP events. Of course, the main gala, 38 Reasons. 292, Lawback, luxury car. So guys, thank you so much. Appreciate the generosity. We're just setting up behind here. And we have McLaren, Lambo, the Rolls, and the boys, Lemmy Urus, all set up, ready to go. It's for entertainment, but really more importantly, it's for the cause and whatever gets you here, gets you here. Thank you guys, over and out. Guys, everybody's arrived, everybody's turned up. We are action packed, we are fucking full. We are here for 38 reasons to celebrate Sean. 
and those that are affected by mental health, suicide, and this gala is pumping. It's packed. See you guys soon. Here Thank he you. is, the man of the night, Steve Mack. Hi, Stevie. First of all, uh, I can tell you that everybody in this room, within a reason, is handpicked. Okay? It's either through a connection, it's through somebody that knows me, or somebody that's heard about it in Chadston. People have flown down here from Queensland and Sydney, or somebody that actually just needs it for themselves. What I want you to think about tonight is the word reason. But I want you to be inspired by the word, what is your purpose? What is your reason for living? Or what is your reason for helping others? Some of us are strong, some of us are not as strong, and some of us are up and down, some of us have our highs, and some of us have our lows. I can tell you that I'm constantly in a state of euphoria. I'm on the go, on the go, on the go. But when I crash, it's fucking bad. So first of all, let's put our hands together for you guys. Another little secret uh, I'd like to share with you is that for those that know me know that I have not eaten food, solid food, for 39 days now. My brother was 38 when he passed and I'm like, you know, just Google, what can I do to can I get a bit of attention and make this purpose and that it. And you know what it is? You have to make yourself uncomfortable. And I'm like, if I'm going to stand at the front of the fucking stage, I'm going to do something that most people can't. And what I wanted to emphasize is this. If you think you're on empty, you're not. If you think you're struggling, you're not. If you think someone doesn't love you, people do. What happens with suicide is people think that their identity goes and they, they lose their sense of purpose, okay? And just the, the walls get a bit darker. Then we don't contact them. We're like, oh, they'll be all right. We don't invite them to a party, something happens. But what happens is that person's suffering. They may act out a little bit, and sometimes they don't, but they might be the happiest person in the room. But most of the times we see the signs. They're like, oh, they won't do it. They won't do this. I can tell you they fucking do. Stand up if you've ever been affected by suicide. Stand up if you've ever known that's anyone been affected by suicide. Anyway, I'm not fucking getting the numbers, the KPIs, the hitting there. You guys stand up. Do you know anyone's ever been affected by suicide? And now no one can see you, but stand up if you've thought about it. Stand up if you know that somebody has. And I guarantee you, even if you don't know someone, it's happened, okay? So what I'd like to talk to you about now is, I'm gonna break my fast tonight, and I've decided to invite well, more than 270 guests to share it. I wanna talk about Sean, because it's not about me. My brother was a loving, caring person, and I can tell you that I am work from the head. He is from the heart. I guarantee he'd be hugging you guys, giving you a little fist pump. So tonight, if you see someone, give him a little fist pump. But Sean cared. And I know who he cared about the most. He cared about me. But he cared about his mum. He cared about his dad. He cared about his family. And he was the person who put on the barbecue. And he didn't even get nothing. He'd just sit around and watch a movie with you. Part of this fast has taught me I have to break myself to be rebuilt. I have to find my heart. I can tell you, I stand up here and Stevie Mac of Melbourne and Stevie Mac of Trouble and two different people. What I make people do, or I ask them to do, only make them actually in this case, I ask them, would you join me in a fast? Would you do a day, a two or three? And then they had to write a list of things that they were grateful for, and the number was 38. Give me 38 things you're grateful for. I have received texts in the middle of night from people that are suicidal, people that needed to be in this ball, and I won't name them, that have gone through their own suffering. But if you feel that you're a bit down or you need to talk privately, okay, there is somebody here to help. Come and see me on table 23 and we'll make sure you pause, okay? Thank you guys. Come on, just give him a hug. Mum. Um, yeah, thank you. I've got to make one correction. I, I do apologise. Yes, I painted this and it is for you. Thank you so much. What a generous, beautiful.
Go up and give her a hug. Thank you, guys. Up. Uh, we are going to get some random two-digit numbers from the audience. So in a moment's time, they're going to shout out. Yeah. Seven, yeah. One, seven. Make sure I'm being true. You're putting it in. Seventeen times. Oh, yeah. Twenty-four. Ninety-eight. All right, and I'm going to do one as well. Okay. What a boy. Equals. That's twenty-two million. Twenty-two million. Zero seven two. Zero three. We have the prediction. Twenty-two million. Wow. Seventy-two thousand and twenty-three! Yeah. Check it out! If you guys... Two or three thousand, come on, someone take me to a G! Over the far side now is that thousand dollars, it's not just a guy waving at me because he fancies me, I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty content. And nine hundred dollars though, he's down the centre! Nine hundred's here, go back! Someone's gotta go nine fifty, boys! We've got nine fifty, 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 we've got